Oh, it's against our rules of conduct to film or take photographs without the library's permission. The First Amendment, we don't have to actually have to ask you if we have our First Amendment right in no, a public you, space you, like you such. Do, you do have to ask, though. It is part of our rules of conduct. And but don't, the thing you, think, is, is don't that, you think that violates the First Amendment of the Constitution? No, I don't. The library believes that we have to ask for our First Amendment rights. Don't you think that it violates the Constitution? It's not for me to say so. Right, I'm not I'm going to discuss politics. No. I'm out here today. It is January 4th of 2022. We got down here is the town of East Aurora. We got the public library here. We'll check it out. Take a look at the outside here real quick before it gets dark. We're nice and close to the police department and the town hall. From an earlier video. Get a glimpse of the building here. We'll take a look inside, see what we got to offer. Make sure they respect the right to film in public. Kind of hard to see. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. They have the Wi Fi available. Carve that? That's pretty sweet. So we carved that. There's our man, Mr. Paul Carver. Register to vote here. <laughs> Students of the month out here. Done. conference room here. I like how they always have paintings in here. Some of these libraries you can buy these paintings. Did you need some help? Um, no, I'm just taking some photographs of the inside of the library here and uh, working on a story okay. on the library itself. Got a nice 
nice movie selection here. All these libraries do. They think Blockbuster is dead, but the public libraries still have them all. Large movie section. Computers here for these. Staff in the back room. Still DVDs for days. Well, they got themselves a nice uh, way out of the library here. Selection. Oh, I'm is this just against our rules of conduct to film or take photographs without the library's permission? Oh yeah, the, the, this is a public place, so I'm just a journalist working on a story, just getting the votes available here in the library. Well, that's that's great. You're welcome to do that. I just needed to know what you were doing. Yeah. And yes, it, it, it is a public building, but it is a limited public forum, and it is against the rules of conduct to do so without permission. So now that I know what you're doing, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just down here working on a story, just what's available at the library, how the layout, you know. Sounds that's all. To me. All right. This director was pretty cool. They still think that you have to ask for your First Amendment rights. But as far as her wondering and trying to kick me out or act like she owns this place, I do believe that she knows she doesn't own the place. Um, I think there was a pretty decent interaction. She asked, I told her what was going on. She said that was all right. I mean, I know it's all right. You know it's all right, but it is uh, crazy to believe that in a public place like this, you would have to ask permission to, for your First Amendment rights. Magazine racks. Audio book section. Be the kids section here. A lot of kid DVDs and Disney movies. Computer set up for kids, probably. Small tables. Some fun stuff in here. Got the snake couch.
Thank you. Got to a library return box out late. I'll have to see what you guys think of that one in the comments section. She didn't try to kick us out or violate my constitutional rights. She just interpreted her job is to make sure she knew what was going on, I guess. But she still has the conclusion that we have to ask for our First Amendment rights. Yeah, I was just saying maybe I could speak to the director for just a second if she was available. She can meet him for the day. Um, she thinks she's a five. Can I um, take your name? No, I just talked to her over here about uh, taking some photography here in the library. And I just wanted to see if she maybe had a minute so I could talk to her about. Um, well, uh, she is off the clock. Let me just see if she can. Oh, she's okay. Yep. Hi there. Hi. How may I help you? I mean, if you're on your way out, you don't have to. But I would just have a few questions about. Um, you know, saying about limited space forum. What exactly does that mean? It's a limited public forum. So there are, like we have a rules of conduct that is agreed upon by the library board of trustees and the director. And that is part of our I guess what my policy. question, my question is, um, as a journalist, as a, you know, just a citizen of the United States and being born here, I have the freedom of press, the First Amendment of the Constitution. Certainly, and, and the library has a right to know what you're doing. Yeah, and I have no problem telling you exactly what. Uh, Just because we have to protect what other I'm doing, I definitely, rights. I definitely have no problem disclosing what you what you're oh, doing. And yeah. you see somebody doing what I was just doing now. Yeah, I would, I would expect to ask, but like, I guess where it comes into question is the First Amendment. We don't have to actually have to ask you if we have our First Amendment right. In no, a public you, space you, like you such, do, you do have to ask. Though it is part of our rules of conduct, and but the don't thing you think, is, is, don't that, you think that violates the First Amendment of the Constitution? No, I don't, because, and this is not the place to necessarily discuss anyone's opinion about it, because I'm not able to discuss opinions about the law and things like that. I can only tell you that we have to protect everyone's rights and privacy, so that's the only concern. Because if it made anyone uncomfortable I mean, like, that somebody was coming in In this country, and nobody has an expectation of privacy in public, and that's the law. And then the First Amendment, the Constitution gives, grants everybody freedom of the press. It doesn't mean you have to have an expensive camera. It doesn't mean that you have to have um, fancy equipment, big tower, big name. It, it gives everybody the right to. And uh, to stop somebody to try to recording, especially in a public place, because this is a public library. I didn't stop you, sir. Oh, no, no, I'm not saying you did. I'm just the, I guess the, the thing is where I come into effect is that the library believes that we have to ask for our First Amendment rights. Don't you think that it violates the Constitution? It's not for me to say so. All right, I'm not going to discuss politics. No, I, I respect that. I respect that. It's, but, it's, uh, it's not my place. That that's is where part I was of the rules from. of conduct I just, and... As far as I know, I work the other a, libraries in the system. I just work on a story about the libraries, what's available, and... Uh, and I appreciate that. That's fantastic. And, you know, maybe a little bit of advertisement for the library itself, and, you know, people do watch the videos, but uh, I guess that's all. I was just getting that... that I know, you know, I understand why you'd be curious, and I know that that's important to you, being a journalist and everything. Yeah. Totally understand. All right. Thank you very much. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you for doing what you're doing. No problem. Wow. Well, that was a little undercover action to ask, but she doesn't have a problem with it, that's for sure. She uh, tends to appreciate the advertisement and she understands the Constitution, but that Board of uh, Libraries put in effect some unconstitutional stuff. Um, Maybe we'll get some uh, information about them. Uh, this is Auditing Erie County here in East Aurora. A pretty nice little audit with uh, 
a talk with the library director. Got the town hall right there. And that's the public library.